let's look at how to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So remember, a quadratic equation is of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b and c stand for numbers. You might have seen the quadratic formula already. It looks a bit complicated. Unfortunately, you kind of need to remember this. So you might want to stick it up around your house. I remember being taught it to a song um, by the tune of Pop Goes the Weasel. I'll try and um, put a link to the, uh, a video below um, as I found that really helpful. Even now, when I write down the quadratic formula, I still sing it to myself in my head. I think it even came with dance moves. I don't know. But anyway, so let's try and see how we can use this to solve quadratic equations. So what this question is asking us to do is to find the values of x. So x stands for a number, so we want to find numbers that x can be such that if you put that number squared plus 8 times that number plus 3, you get 0. So the first thing to do here is we want to identify what the a, b and c values are in this quadratic expression on the left hand side here. So here we have a, so a is the number before the x squared and it's sort of an invisible one here. So A equals one. And we have B equals eight. And C equals three. So the quadratic formula is really cool because just with this information, we can write down the solutions of this straight away. So this tells us that X equals, so, negative b, so b is 8, so we want negative 8 plus or minus the square root of b, which is 8, squared minus 4 times a, times a, times c, which is 3, all over 2, times a, which is 1. Once you've remembered the quadratic formula, it's quite easy to use, but you've just got to be careful um, because there are lots of different slip ups you can make. So for instance, you need to remember that the square root goes over all of these terms here and that the division sign is um, under the entire top row. Also re being really careful with negative signs and to make sure you include the plus or minus here. So there are a few things you've got to be a bit careful about. This is looking good, so we can simplify that. x equals negative 8 plus or minus the square root. So let's do this bit here. 8 squared is 64 minus, and then we want to do this multiplication here. So remember the order of operations with mass. We square, and square this, multiply these together before subtracting this from this. So 4 times 1 times 3. 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, so 64 minus 12, all over 2 times 1 is 2. This equals minus 8 plus or minus the square root. 64 minus 12 is going to be 52 over 2. This is correct as an answer. If it asks for a precise answer, this is something you can write down that will give you four marks. And remember, this plus or minus is saying that actually there are two solutions here. So one solution is x equals minus 8 plus the square root of 52 over 2. And the other solution is x equals minus 8 minus the square root of 52 all over 2. So when you write down your answer, if they want it in precise form or third form, you can write it like this with the plus or minus um, above each other, or you can write this entire thing here where you give one solution, say or, and then put the other solution. So it's really crucial that you make it clear that there are two solutions to this. So there are a couple of other things I want to show you. So both of these are correct answers to write down. Another thing you can do is if the question asks you for it, um, for the answer to a certain number of decimal places, so maybe it will say solve for x, leave your answers to two decimal places or maybe significant figures. It could say leave it to three significant figures. What you want to do then is get your calculator and put in both answers. So the first one here, so you want um, the fraction sign here, so minus 8 plus the square root of 52 all divided by 2. So that tells us that top one is x equals, let's do it to three significant figures. So we get minus 0 0.394. 
Um, and then the second answer is, I can just go back and change that plus to a minus. So this one in decimal form, so let's do to three significant figures again. So that's minus 7.61. So these are to three significant figures. And then a final thing is that um, actually this third form up here, you can simplify a bit. If you're confident with manipulating thirds, that can be a nice way to neaten up your answer. Say x equals minus 8 plus or minus root 52 over 2. In fact, we could say this equals minus 8 plus or minus square root of 4 times the square root of 13 over 2. Square root of 4 is 2, so that's the same as minus 8 plus or minus 2 root 13 over 2. And then we can divide top and bottom by 2, so that's minus 4 plus or minus root 13, just like that. So I've given you four different options for how you can like give your answer when you solve for x for this. So all of these are correct, you just need to be careful what the question's asking for. It's also worth saying you can check your answers because what we've done again is by solving this we've found values of x such that if you substitute them in here they give you zero. So for instance if we look at our um, second option for the answer, so if I take this minus 8 um, plus root 52 over 2 and substitute it in the left hand side, this should give us zero. And you can see it does. And that would be the same of the other one as well. So it's an easy way to check that what you found is correct. Okay, let's try another question. So solve for x, 5 plus x squared equals 14x. So um, notice this is not quite in the correct form we need it. We want to write it in this form in order to be able to use the quadratic formula. So let's rearrange it. So we currently have 5 plus x squared equals 14x. We want a 0 on, on one side, so we can minus 14x from both sides. And then we can rearrange the left hand side to put it in this format. So we can move the x squared to the front, so x squared minus 14x plus 5 equals 0. So now we want to work out our a, b and c values. So here we have again that a equals 1, so that's the number in front of the x squared. b equals minus 14, so be really careful to include the minus here. You can think of this as like x squared plus minus 14x, so b is minus 14. c, our c value here is 5. Okay, so let's now use the quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula tells us that x equals negative b, b is minus 14. So I'm going to put this in brackets because it's really important to be careful with the minus signs, plus or minus the square root of b, so b is minus 14 in brackets, squared minus 4 times, a and c are positive so I'm not going to put them in brackets, um, if they were negative I would put them in brackets to make it clear. Um, Oh, one moment, let me colour code. All over 2 times a, which is 1. This equals, so minus, minus 14. Minuses cancel out, so we just have 14 plus or minus the square root minus 14 squared. So minus 14 times minus 14. The minuses will cancel out, so we just need to think what 14 squared is. I think that's 196. It is minus 4 times 1 times 5. So 4 times 1 is 4 times 5 is 20. Um, divided by 2 times 1 is 2. That equals uh, 14 plus or minus. So 196 minus 20 is going to be 176 all over 2. So this is an answer you can give if they want it in exact third form. This is perfect as an answer. Again, you can, so this is option 1 for the answer. Option two is you can write 14 plus the square root of 176 all over two, and then write or, and then write the other option. So remember, there are two answers here. Or you can whack it in your calculator, get the decimal forms and round it to however many decimal or significant figures they want. And also you can simplify this a little bit further. So this is optional. Um, don't worry if you haven't covered it, but... Um, you could also say that 14 plus or minus 176 over 2 
you can simplify the thirds here. So that's another answer you can give. But again, don't worry, this is also correct. Um, any four of these options are correct. Just read the question and check what it wants. Um, and again, remember, you can substitute this in, put it in here. So if you try like this answer and do five plus this squared, write what that is and then see if it equals 14 times this. And if it does, then you know you've got the correct answer. OK, let's try another question. So we have A equals 2, B equals 20 and C equals minus 16. Again, be really careful about these minus signs. So this is in the correct format to use this. So we can go straight ahead with the quadratic formula. So we have X equals so negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a is 2 and c is minus 16. So because it's got a minus sign, I'm just going to be super careful and put this in brackets. Make sure this square root is going over everything at the top. And this is all divided by 2 times a is 2. Okay, let's simplify that. So we have minus 20 here, plus or minus the square root. 20 squared, hopefully, because these are big numbers, um, if this came up in an exam, I'd hope it would be a calculator exam and you can type them in. But 20 squared is 400 minus, so here you've got to be careful. So we've got 4 times 2 times minus 16, and we're minusing that. Um, so 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 16, okay, I'm going to cheat and put that on a calculator, 8 times 16 is 128, so, but we've got minus 16, so 4 times 2 times minus 16, so that's minus 128, and I'm putting this in brackets again because we've got two minuses here, we've got minus, then this is all multiplied together with a minus, so it gives us another minus here, all over 2 times 2, which is 4, that equals minus 20 plus or minus the square root. 400, so minus minus 128 is plus 128 over 4. So just like take your time to think, okay, if you've got minuses appearing, just make sure you've, you know, if you've got like a minus here and then a minus there, it becomes a positive. If it was minus 4 times minus 2 times minus 16, then it would overall be a minus sign. So just, so just be really careful and double check you've got the right sign. You can always whack that in a calculator if you have a calculator to make sure you've got the right answer under the square root sign. So that's gonna be minus 20 plus or minus the square root. 400 plus 128 is 528. Um, all over four. So this is our answer. Okay, so yeah, as before, this is the version one that we can leave our answer as. We can also do where we say, okay, it's minus 20 plus this. Uh, option three is you put it in your calculator, get the decimal places going. Option number four is you see if you can simplify this. This is also correct. And once again, you can substitute it in there to check you got the right answer. Thanks for watching. Here's another video I think you'll like. Here's another video YouTube thinks you'll like. I have no idea what it is. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Who knows? If you like this video and want to see more aesthetic messy videos, do check out my channel and subscribe.